Hello value viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're going to try and do two of your viewer requests in one DCS test. The first is a claim that in 1973 during the Yom Kippur War, an Israeli F-4 downed an Egyptian MI-8 helicopter, not by shooting it, but by flying past it very quickly. The afterburner from the jet and the weight turbulence kicked up made the helicopter lose control and crash. So we're going to see if we can simulate that. Secondly, in our series of what can be used to take down drones, we're going to see if weight turbulence can take down drones. So we've got a selection of boys in heavy jets. Hello, boys. Hello. 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 You guys are going to take off. You're going to head north by about 10 miles, and you're going to see on your maps two red track lines. First, there's going to be a drone. An Iranian drone has come across the Persian Gulf and it's going to be heading along those track lines from the sea inland at low altitude. And you've got to try and kill it with your wake turbulence, guys. You can take off now and I'll see you there. chosen big heavy twin engine fighters because presumably they're going to make the biggest amount of wake all right guys i'm going to be the drone driver strangely in a p51 mustang let me explain why and how i'm doing it so i've got to simulate a drone a typical combat suicide drone we do actually have drones in dcs but they have very uh, simple flight models that this wouldn't be an accurate or a decent test to do it with so instead I've got an aircraft that closely resembles the speed and whatnot that a drone can fly at. Don't do it yet, by the way. But it has a proper flight model. It's going to be affected by weight turbulence. So I'm going to set myself to fly at a more suitable speed, about 150 miles an hour for a modern attack drone. Now, a Mustang is a fighter and it's very maneuverable. So what I've done is I've reduced the amount of input that I can put into the controls to 20 percent so if you look at the bottom left you can see the left stick right stick and the forward stick and back stick i can only go to a maximum of 20 percent so my maneuverability is about 20 percent of what it should be that is going to much more closely represent what a drone could do which is obviously not a highly maneuverable aircraft it's very low maneuverability designed to be stable so you can see that that's the most i can put on left and right that's the most i've gotten up and down guys at will, please approach me however you see fit. Lay a trail of um, wake in front of me that I'm going to fly through and then see what the deuce happens. Remember, you don't need to necessarily pass extremely close to me. It's the trail of wake you want to leave in front of me that we're interested in. Bonjour. Something big is coming. In terms of speed, what would leave the most wake? Probably slow, I would expect rather than fast. Yeah, weight gets, uh, turbulence is greater with higher angle of attack. Yeah, there's only so much you can do with that though. Kind of the approach I'm going for, I'm going to try and come in really kind of slow behind it and just as I fall out in front of it, plug the afterburner. <laughs> I felt that! <laughs> I felt that and... Yeah, I've done that too. It had an effect on me. Jesus Christ. It had an effect, no effect from the Mirage. The, the Tomcat had an effect on me, but I could, even with 20% authority, I could easily regain control. Keep it going, guys. Something smoky's coming. Oh, yeah, I felt that. Oh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm full, I'm full sick, it worked! Bring the Phantom! I was full, the viewers could see there, because I didn't I want them to make sure that they didn't think I was cheating. They could see my full reactions on the stick. Let's go back and just re-watch that. Right, viewers, I've just paused the game and we've all jumped out to Windows and we're just going to watch that bit of footage again because it was recorded live. So we got, who was it? Hasina? Me, yeah. And the Smoky Bandit, the F4 there. Here I was, I was at 120 knots, basically, 120 knots. So bang on for a Shahed drone. So you see it coming through like that. I jump back to my cockpit. Oh, yeah, I feel that. Look at my oh, control it's... at the bottom. I'm a full. <laughs> I'm full. I'm full sick. It worked. That's, um. <laughs> let me try it again. Let me show you again. If the stick's down, that means up, obviously. That means I'm trying to pull up if the stick's going down. 
Just hits me from nowhere. Oh yeah, I feel that. Oh, it sticks down fully up. Oh, you know what I mean? Trying to pull up, trying to pull up, trying to pull up, trying to pull up. So there's nothing I could do. There's nothing I could do. Let's do it again. All right, welcome back, viewers. Uh, so that worked really easily, actually. Um, with 20% saturation, they call it. So that's as much as input as I can put in. Now I can put 30% input in, guys. I'm going to unpause. Well, I'm amazed that worked so well, I'll be honest. Uh, right, put my thing. So up. Oh, if you see it go down like that, viewers, that means I'm trying to pull my nose up like that. Uh, a bit confusing, I'm aware. Let's see, I've got a bit more than I had last time. I don't know if the fact that I had my air brakes out, I don't know if that did anything as well. But... In real life, probably. I mean, all you're doing is energising the air. That's what wake turbulence is, is energisation of the air. So anything that does that pushes the air about. It also helps that I'm going fairly slow, I think. Uh, which a real drone will be, obviously. A visual on you. All right, I am 140 knots. Uh, it's miles an hour, not knots, isn't it? Sorry, miles an hour. Do the same for you again, and just hopefully it works again. It's gone lower this time to make it harder. Roger, Tomcat coming in, I see. Scares me, this must be the heaviest plane here. I wonder if the Phantom makes a particularly high amount of weight because it's a bit of an aerodynamic brick. Try oh, I don't know if I can get under you now. Yeah, I'm trying to get out of you without getting too fast or really changing much. It's coming in like supersonic. Be dark, because dark only knows one speed. Okay. Tomcat doesn't affect me very much. It just doesn't affect me very much. Try the Phantom again. Right behind you, Cap. Two Phantoms coming in almost at the same time. Oh, hello. Wires. Oh, I got weight turbulence from uh, Hasina. That's horrible! Pull up, pull up, sick, pull up, sick, pull up. I just pulled out, I just pulled out. Oh, go around again, go around again. For some reason, the Phantom, the Phantom just knocks me right out, and I have to go pull up, sick, and. <coughs> right, I need to get back on power. Just thing had a friggin' autopilot, I'm trying to watch you guys and fly a warbird. It's freaking impossible. I hear one more sonic boom, I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> Tomcat. Almost nothing. Almost no wake turbulence from the Tomcat. It's so weird, isn't it, guys? Yeah, slow. Yeah. I was pretty high AOA. I should have yeah. been quite a bit. I should have in, smashed it. Yeah. Put in some power as well. How much power did you have? I was... I was... Some power yeah, doesn't... Full afterburner. Power doesn't it's generate wake turbulence, though. It doesn't, but it's maybe it does again. It does again. Not just about the wake turbulence. Yeah, I mean they claimed in the in the real life event that it was the afterburner that did it, but I mean it all feeds into the wake turbulence, doesn't it? To unplug in the afterburner. Oh, I just dropped right out of the sky. Full of sick, full power. Yep, I saved myself. It's only because I've got more authority now. I'm saving myself, but I'm dropping probably a hundred feet. Living out again. Right, where's the other oh. phantom? I'm gonna form up on you and let's do like a twin two man on it. A drone is not designed to do harsh ACM maneuvers to save itself. You've got to remember that as well. It's a cruise vehicle, it just cruises, it does cruise inputs. So I could easily see how a drone could, could falter this. Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> that was a heavy vehicle. Save myself. Jesus Christ. You are one heavy young man, Poosh. Jeez. That 15 really rocked you. Yeah. I just it did yeah. I couldn't correct it. Oh! Oh! Oh, whoops. I, dr um. I drifted up into you, sorry. Oops. I was trying to get as close as I could, but. <coughs> Alright, guys, I reckon we've got a good data set there. So, with 20% saturation, so I could have 20% of stick, and I was a couple of hundred feet, a phantom went, under, went below me. And I couldn't, and it, I dropped 100 feet, and I couldn't recover in time to save the last 100 feet. With 30%, about the same credentials otherwise, about 30% of control, I could just about save myself, just, just from the F-15 as well. So, what does that mean in real life? 
I reckon in real life, I mean, there's no way of really knowing. Bear in mind, drones are not dogfighters and they're not really set to, you know, do harsh manoeuvres like that. I reckon you would probably take out a drone with what we've seen there if it's flying low. What do you guys reckon? I could the crap. Yeah, I think oh, so. Potentially, yeah. Yeah. Not I just think really the risk of your airframe is too high, though. Yeah. Nice, nice belly landing, Asina. That you, was pretty. You might want to not lose the cannon because of ROE. You might not have permission to fire in that area. We're learning that about at the moment in real life. And as well as that, you got to be quite close to hit a tiny target like that. And you, there's a good chance you're going to ingest its freaking gut, uh, in my opinion. Right, we're going to do the same, but with helicopters now, because the actual kill was a helicopter. Welcome back, viewers. Same experiment, but now it's Poosh. He's going to be in a Mi-8, and we're going to go and try it with him. Poosh, you can pretty much set off if you want. Fly a couple of hundred feet. Uh, I don't know, 60 knots, something like that. Guys, you know what to do, take off, let's go and buzz him. You know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to go and do a big dogfight mission next week with P-51, and I'm going to forget to put my, um, uh, my controls back, so I can only dogfight like a drone. I guarantee it. I wonder if also the F-4's nozzles being pointed down slightly also helps. Maybe. Push, you're about to feel some serious love. Mm-hmm. All right, got big boy. I'm on the way, two miles behind. Low altitude. All right, I made out of tissue paper. Got my gear down. Tomcat coming in. Don't hit him, fire. All right, Tomcat tried. Now it's time for the big gal. I am an F-15E with all of my bits out. Giggity. And demonetized. Perfect. A nice high angle of attack. Up we go. Can you do your thing first? Burner on. Any effect? Uh, you might have been a bit too far. Nothing. Roger, my first go. Nothing, Poosh? Yeah, a little bit. Not, uh, God not damn it. Oh, I killed myself. Well done, Fire. You, <laughs> you're flying like an absolute dingus today. <laughs> It's not a Cessna. I'm going to try and lay a, lay a slime trail right in front of him. Low altitude. Low altitude. Nothing. Nothing? Uh, just a little bit. Yeah. I didn't have to put my hand on the collector. Because you'd think that'd have a lot of... Really? You'd think that'd have a lot of effect. Because those rotors are so... They're so sensitive to changes in air, aren't they? All right, Poosh. Try a new, new thing. Try hovering. When he's in a hover, viewers... I'm there. I'm there. All right. He's got he's got hot air all around him. He's got energised air because of just how, how helicopters work. He's going to be more vulnerable to changes. Right. Let's go in, guys. Ooh, the boys really are converging on you. Nice phantom. Telfin, Telfin. Oh, I felt your wake turbulence. <laughs> maybe, maybe we want to hit the air above him now. All right, so try it. Right, because it's sucking yeah, the air through. That's actually it? my first approach. That's what I did. I went above him to see if I could disrupt the air above him. <coughs> wake turbulence does drop over time. I am Jejuio no, surprise. No, I'm not surprised. Because it's sucking, what's it doing? It's sucking the air from above and oh, throwing it below. Right. God damn it. Well, here's the annoying thing. When we're in missions, people are always shouting at me for creating vapor, uh, you know what I'm saying, for creating, um, all of a sudden it doesn't seem wonder, to matter anymore. I wonder if we were in helicopters and flew around them. No, I mean, when I'm in a jet, so I, I, I like to buzz people in helicopters to annoy them. They say, oh, it affected me. Poosh, we're gonna get, we can't get much closer to you. It's going to get, we're just going to start hitting you. Why don't you try Gazelle or something very lightweight? Kind of power limited right now. Very noisy. Yeah, going to be noisy for sure. Kind of bit perspex isn't going to help. Nothing. All right, got another phantom coming in. Man, they look good coming towards the camera. Nothing. 
felt that, but uh, nothing significant. All right. Let's try VMAX then. Push, get it going 150 knots. I have a feeling that the Apache might be the one that's affected the most. Well, why would that be? It's quite heavy. Because it's like the most recent helicopter. Heavy, maybe. modeled the best. Yeah, that might be it. Might be better modeled. I can hop in one if you want. Yeah, go on, Nothing. Dog. You're not getting any closer than that. No? Okay. Little bottle. Oh. Nothing. Nothing. To yeah. Get that's stupid. That thing would fall out the bloody sky, guys. After these ones, head back, guys, because there's an Apache to play with. Yeah, I want to play. No, this ain't working. All right, aeroplanes. Yeah, that was aeroplanes reverse course. Going to get the Apache. Apache come inland at 100 knots. Go much closer than that. Oh, yeah, it threw him off a bit. It did, didn't it? Nice. Dark is concentrating, he's not talking. Yeah, that, yeah. that never happens. I can see it rocking it, it's not going to lose control, but... Oh, he has just dropped a couple of tens of feet. It rocks it. It, do, it definitely does do it, guys. So you're right. It, it's just the modelling of the in the sim of each one, how they react to wake turbulence. But he's, he's in no danger. I can bring it down. Bring it into a hover. Yeah. Bring it into a hover. I think from a hover, you need to be on top of him. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way of doing it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good place to end, I think. Ah, right. So we did drones as best we could. And I think we established, in our minds at least, that a non-dog fighting drone probably is going to get taken down by wake turbulence. Then we did helicopters, and we felt it was a bit poorly modelled in-game. We felt that um, there was very little effect on most of them, a little bit of effect on the Apache you could see there. And that was a crash. That's why he crashed, by the way. I would, especially a small helicopter like a Gazelle going through that wash, I imagine it would be thrown all about the place. But obviously, I don't know. So we got the same result as we did five years ago. Maybe, maybe not unsurprisingly, any thoughts, guys? I think maybe they scared the guy and he crashed or something like that. 20 tons or something comes by you at 500 knots. It might, yeah, it might do that shockwaves yeah all right well that's an interesting bit of science for you um i think we've done that to death i hope you enjoyed that and bye bye